Just Skywalker. The Skywalker is slowing down. I'm getting good, good hits. Yeah, there we go. Got sick. Fran, Got Fran, sick. Fran, turn with him here. Arch. Ah, uh, hit! There we go. Nice. Oh, got him. Oh. Ah, I'm down. Welcome back everyone to another video. Today I want to talk about ballistics. 90% penetration value is what we're moving into for 318. And I wanted to table the discussion and ask the community that watches all our stuff here on YouTube about how they feel about ballistics changes for 318. All these tests that you're about to see here are done with a fully ballistic repeated Hornet in free flight in 318. All the ships are stock loadouts, so stock shieldings, but it gives a good idea of the level of time to kill that ships have in the universe now for 318. From full health to dead within a few seconds, you can see pretty clearly that ballistics are going to become a lot more dangerous a lot faster. There are certain problems with this change. Now, we all understand that armor systems have not been implemented as of right now. And so for the immediate future, ballistics are going to be overpowered and by quite a considerable margin. As you can see here, a full health arrow is vaporized within 1.4 seconds against a Hornet. And this Gladius here, around the same time to kill, about 1.4 seconds. Slightly longer for the Gladius because she's pretty tough, but the difference is so small, it's almost unnoticeable. The question goes, is this going to be fun for the people in 318 when this comes out? I have some concerns about perhaps if this change does end up hitting 318 live, because we have been waiting for quite a few patches in the, in the recent months, and we've been holding on to 317 for quite longer than I think most people expected. So if this ballistic change does happen, as you can see here, a fully ballistic Hornet can kill a full health reclaimer in one magazine. So then the question becomes, if multi-crew ships are already in a state where they're a little bit struggling with combat, they're struggling with just existing in the universe in any kind of meaningful combat capacity, this ballistics change is going to really put a dampener on the minimal amount of multi-crew that we do have in the game. And it's going to make it almost absolutely necessary for every engagement to have some kind of single seat fighter with ballistics. Now, in my personal opinion, full ballistic dogfights are some of the most intense, exciting, and awesome experiences to have in Star Citizen. And because we don't simply have any armor system implemented in the game as of right now, being in a big multi-crew ship puts you at a significant disadvantage. Not only do you have to contend with much slower accelerations and a lot of other issues, now you're going to have to entertain the fact that if somebody has got ballistics and you've got two size three shields. The shields were really the only thing keeping a lot of these multi-crew ships even somewhat viable in today's modern and evolving tactical environment. Now, the game is alpha. We all understand that. Things are always going to change. And you guys know that I'm always gonna give you the up-to-date information here on the channel as we get stuff and as it comes out. Even though the ballistics changes for the immediate future, if they do end up going to 318 Live, like I said before, are going to change the game. And it will make most multi-crew ships from the minimal amount of viability they have to being almost completely unviable now that we have ballistics. Stuff like talons and cartoon walls with size 4 AD4Bs will become the, the, I guess you could say, large ship killers that we uh, never intended those ships to roll into. Ships like the Ares Inferno are going to be the apex predator of everything size 2 or above. Although the Ares Inferno will be eaten alive by simply anything that's single seat fighter, the Ares Inferno will basically bridge the gap between everything else. The Redeemer, surprisingly, might not necessarily be too bad with this change. The Redeemer, in all her glory, is quite tough versus the Ballistics, relatively speaking, 
from all the other large ships. And with two size 5 85Bs mounted on its guns, anything, and I mean anything, that is its size or larger is going to be absolutely eviscerated by the Redeemer. But if it comes to fighters attacking the Redeemer, I don't think the Redeemer will have much of a chance. Although it is a lot tougher than the A2, the C2, the M2, and a lot of the other large ships, in terms of the multi-crew experience, the Redeemer might be one of the only ships in today's modern environment when 318 comes out that could stand a chance. But then again, it's unlikely it's going to win against fighters. It's a big change, and I'm sure people have very passionate opinions about the subject. But let us know how you think in the comments section here on the video. Get involved with the conversation, and let's start talking Star Citizen. It's possible that CIG may be using this to get the numbers they need for the armor system, but for the immediate future, the ballistics are going to become the weapons of choice. To end off the video, please enjoy our Avenger Squadron training session here, where we had a 3 versus 3 full ballistic no shield fight to simulate the changes for 318. Enjoy the fight. Closing 4.1, 3.8. Yeah, stay defensive if you're getting targeted there. Um, I'm still on Fran here. 1.3. Yeah, I'm on Fran. Effective on damage on Fran. 1k out, getting the merge. Yep, me too. French Chronicle. Yeah. Got him! Got him. Nice. Nice. Uh, Zek. You got Zek, yep. Uh, I don't know, good opportunity. Is in a bubble with me? Yeah, I'm on him. Chasing. Yeah, I'm leaping him up. Saddled. He's out. He's yep. Out. Got a hit. Got a couple hits on him here. Chasing, chasing, chasing. He's going through Skywalker. Caught him. Here we go. Hit him. Hit him some more. Hit him some more. Oh. Yeah, two K out. Skywalker's K out. on me here. We're good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm pull. I'm. I'm. I'm uh, stringing uh, Skywalker out. Through click salt. I'm on Zack. Zack. Yep. Nice. Dark. Nice, nice, nice. I'm a, I'm a Skywalker, sky. Skywalker, Skywalker. Yeah. That's some good damage. Chasing. There we go. Hit him, hit him again. Uh, in the circle. Yep. There it is. Oh, damn. God damn. Nice.